Sport this week here has centred on little else. And the more they talk, the more likely the nerves are likely to jangle. And I think that's what Ireland are suffering at the moment. They've got the free kick taken on by Foley. Drives for the line for all his work. He's held up, though, it's magnificent Scottish defence. There's the ball. It ought to come back on the green side. O'Callaghan, as ever, is there. Now Stringer to O'Connell. Look at that defence, though. Wallace rolls off the tackle. Still going, Wallace! Try for Wallace! And Ireland can breathe again. Well, they can breathe again for a little while, and we kind of said it earlier on, this is the talent of David Wallace. Whatever about the threat out wide, David Wallace is a consistent threat, tight in, taking those balls flat. He'll always break that first tackle for you. Always got the pace to get past that, that first defender and the strength just to ride the tackle. He must have ridden at least two tackles there. It wasn't particularly pretty, but this time Ireland managed to maintain possession and he had a lot of work to do. He just rotated his way out of that tackle, spun away and had the, the strength. Couldn't be dragged back by those three Scottish defenders and maybe a little against the run of play, Ireland find themselves back in the lead again. Two points aren't a certainty. O'Gara has not been kicking well, but that was much, much better. Roars of relief around Lansdowne Road. It's 23-16. Yeah, this is it. This is it. From here, you, you wouldn't bet on David Wallace getting over from here, would you? That wasn't a very good, wasn't a very good first up tackle, and it wasn't a very good second by Grimes. And there's no way Cousin is going to stop him from there. All the frustration of being left out of the World Cup squad coming to the fore there. He scored a try against the Scots, which we all thought. Was